Blessing and favor each and everyone. Welcome to Prophetic Declaration Corner. My name is Sister Anna. Okay. Our topic tonight is prophetess in the Bible. Yes. Now we're not going to just talk about a prophetess in the Bible. We are going to talk about prophetesses in the Bible. Yes. More than one more than two yes we've got to talk about them you know some people always say um women are not supposed to prophesy women are not supposed to preach okay we have proof in the bible here that you had prophetesses in the bible so that is why you are supposed to you are supposed to read the word of God for yourself. Read it for yourself and be enlightened by the word of God and with the word of God. Now we're going to pray. Father, in the mighty full name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh Lord God, that you would touch each and every viewers who watch, O oh God, this program, O oh Lord God. In the mighty full name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh God, that you will open their minds, O oh Lord God, to receive your word, to receive your teachings, O oh Lord God, through me. In the mighty full name of Jesus Christ, I pray, O oh Lord God, that their lives will never be the same after watching each and every video. Their lives will never be the same, but their lives will be better. O oh Lord God, I pray, O oh Lord God, that you, O oh Lord God, will give them a deliverance, healing, breakthrough, and prosperity touch, O oh Lord God, even a touch of blessings oh lord god by watching these programs by watching prophetic declaration corner programs hosted by me sister anna in the mighty full name of jesus christ may you oh lord god have your way with them oh lord god touch their hearts touch their hearts oh lord god touch their minds their bodies and their souls oh lord god Touch their bloodstreams, every organs and every tissues in their bodies, O oh Lord God. In Jesus Christ Almighty name, I pray that you will also touch their families too, O oh Lord God. Touch every situation in their lives. Touch every dead situation in their lives. Let every dead situation in their lives come alive, O oh Lord God. In Jesus Christ Almighty name, we command every dead situation to come alive right now. In Jesus Christ Almighty name, I will declare it done. In Jesus Christ Almighty name now We are going to turn to Exodus chapter 15 Verse 20 Exodus Chapter 15 Verse 20. And it reads, And Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. Now, everybody know that Aaron and Moses were brothers. Now, remember in the Bible it says Miriam and Aaron are brothers and sister, are brother and sister. And Miriam was also Moses' sister. Do you remember where in the Bible when Moses was a baby and the little girl who put him in the water in the basket, she was told by her mother to do so and to watch him to make sure he goes, note that goes into safety, no danger will, you know, and he will not go in any danger or anything. Yes, she was the same very one, Miriam. Yes, she's the, the elder sister for Moses. Right. So she was the first prophetess in the Bible. Miriam, the first prophetess in the Bible. Now we are going on to the second prophetess in the Bible. I want you to turn your Bibles to 
Judges chapter 4 verse 4 and it reads and Deborah a prophetess the wife of Lapidoth she judged Israel at that time <laughs> you know why I am happy to read this part you have a lot of people say women are not supposed to prophesy women are not supposed to preach women are not supposed to prophesy women are not supposed to preach Air it concrete evidence in the Bible I am not reading from well no other book but the Holy Bible the Holy Bible to show you the proof look for it in your Bible if you don't want to take it from me reading it from my Bible look in your King James Bible look in your Bible so all the people were saying that women are not supposed to prophesy women are not supposed to preach ah shut up shut up and again we're gonna go to second chronicles chapter 34 verse 22 but I'll I, I leave you now. Let us turn to Second Kings first, right? Let us turn to Second Kings. Let us turn to Second Kings, ver chapter twenty-two, verse fourteen, and the same Bible reads. So Hilkiah, the priest, and Ahikam, and Akbar, and Shaphan, and Asahiah went unto Huldah, the prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikva. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. And if you also read Second Chronicles chapter 34, verse 22, it tells you the same thing about Hulda the prophetess. Right? Okay. And we are going to read Nehemiah. Some people call it Nehemiah. Some people call it Nehemiah. Some people Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 14. Now, you know, Nehemiah was the one who when the walls were this destroyed he asked to leave from his job so that the, 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 the city will be built back the wall will be built back so that the city will be safe again so he asked for leave leave of absence to go and do it anyway Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 14 and it says, it reads, Nehemiah was praying, and Nehemiah says unto the Lord, Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 14, My God, think so upon Tobiah and Sanbalat, according to, the, according to these their works, and on the prophetess Noadiah, and the rest of the prophets, 
that would have put me in fear. <laughs> ah, everybody know about the story of Sambalat and Tobias. We're not talking about Sambalat and Tobias. We're talking about prophetesses in the Bible. Concrete evidence. Right? So, one of my favorites. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 3 this is going to be a shock unto many for who don't, don't really fully know their Bibles as yet Isaiah chapter 8 verse 3 and it reads and I went unto the prophetess, and she conceived and bare a son. Then said the Lord to me, Call his name Meher Shalal Hashbaz. The prophetess was Isaiah's wife. Isaiah's wife was a prophetess. Yes, Isaiah's wife was a prophetess read it for yourself and it doesn't stop there i want you to turn to saint luke chapter 2 verse 36 saint luke chapter 2 verse 36 and it reads and there was one Anna my name of course and there was one Anna a prophetess the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Aser she was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity wow wow so all those people that were saying that women are not supposed to prophesy it's time for your mouth to take a leave of absence not even leave of absence but resign totally resign from saying so desist from saying so because the bible tells you prophetesses were in the bible prophetesses were in the bible you know i thank the lord thy god for his word i thank the lord thy god for giving us wisdom this has made about the 15th video I was trying to make I have to delete everyone because what I was saying God didn't want me to do the video about that God wanted me to do the video about this so that people minds will be enlightened enlightened so as usual let us go into our declaration a little declaration not much Read your Bible. Pray. The Lord thy God is our keeper. Oh, sorry. I, I, I saw. Okay, it was this. <laughs> I saw. Uh, anyway, it's a string from. Yeah, okay. Because I was wondering, where is it coming from? Yes. So, as I was saying, let us go into some declaration. I have to wait until when God give me the declaration and I tell you. Father God, in the mighty full name of Jesus Christ, make me into the prophetess that you want me to be in the mighty full name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Yahweh, 
Make me into the prophetess that you want me to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Yahweh. Make me into the true prophetess that you want me to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, Jehovah, I pray unto you. Make me into the prophetess, the true prophetess. A righteous prophetess who lives uprightly for you, O oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, teach me to know wisdom and knowledge. As the true prophetess that you want me to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, make me to be a true prophetess unto the nations to do your work, to preach and teach your word. To live a righteous life. To live holy for you, O Lord God. Yahweh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Yahweh. Make me into the prophetess. Where you always use my mouth. My eyes, my nose, my ears, my hands my feet my whole entire body to do whatever you want me to do to go wherever you want me to go and for you to have your way with me for you to have your own sweet divine way with me in jesus christ almighty name oh lord god yahweh Make me into the prophetess. Make, make me into the prophetess to be used by you, O oh Lord God Yahweh, at all times. In Jesus Christ's almighty name. And we say, Amen. Now, that prayer or those declarations are for people for females who wants to be true prophetess wants to be a true prophetess for God and of God of Yahweh of Jehovah God okay now if you really want to be a true prophetess of God fast and pray a lot forgive your enemies forgive them no matter what they have wronged you forgive them but always remember this the Bible said love your enemies but the Bible also will tell you, feed them with a long spoon. That means do not give them a close contact to get close to you, to hurt you in any form of way. Love your enemies. Pray for them. But feed them with a long spoon. If they need help and you can help them, help them. Once they are in need and you can help them, help them. But you need to forgive all the people who have wronged you. And ask the Lord 
each and every day for forgiveness because even by our thoughts we sin even by our thoughts we sin as I was saying you know fast and pray every day pray 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 let the Lord thy God have his way pray give your whole heart your mind your body and your soul to God live for God and allow the Lord thy God to have his way with you in Jesus Christ Almighty name. this is prophetic declaration corner my name is sister Anna I hope you enjoy this program and you can like and subscribe and share share the Word of God share the gospel to each and everyone all over the world in Jesus Christ almighty name Shalom.